Hi, my name is Nolan Brock. This is my first semester in the Electronics Technology Program at Collin College. An assignment in my Robotics Fundamentals class was to make a robot using Arduino. So I decided to make a plot clock. I found code, 3D print files, and basic calibration instructions all online. I used the 3D printer in the library at the school to make all of the pieces, and I used wood to make the eraser. Later, I decided to attach a power switch, an on light, and a real-time clock to the robot. Currently, I am working on mounting the robot to a wooden box and hiding all of the electronics inside of that box. But for now, take a look at this short demonstration. So this is the plot clock, fully assembled. Here's one, two, under there's the third servo. Uh, you have the nine volt battery. This is actually a little switch. Here's the real time clock. This little battery right there keeps it all in time even though the nine volt is unplugged or the switch is turned off. Uh, here is the Arduino. This is the Uno. This goes to the real-time clock. This is all five volts. Here's the three servos. Here's the light. It's the LED. And this is ground. So that LED is right under here. He comes on whenever the system's turned on to let us know that it is indeed on. So I'm just going to power him up, and he should start to write 647. He's going to erase twice. Eighteen forty seven military time. Yep, there he is. So then we just wait one minute and or till the next minute, sorry, not one full minute, till the next minute. And he'll write it out. Forty-eight. And if we look at my desk lamp or desk clock, we'll be able to see. Let me get up there. That it is six forty-eight. And my computer also says six forty-eight. Yeah, cool little device. Again, this is Nolan, uh, the Plot Clock. Thank you uh, for watching. That's all.